going to spend the next five minutes teaching you how to peer inside your employees' brains, how to read their minds and unlock their secrets, how to how to how to unlock their passion, their potential. Why do we need to learn to read our employees' minds? Because we are in the midst of an employee engagement crisis. Now this is a global crisis to be sure, but Australia leads the way in this crisis. We are the third least engaged workforce on the planet, third only to Singapore and to mainly China. Because our HR practices are very outdated, outmoded, antiquated, and unproductive. They were built around the Industrial Revolution where people had to do very routine, tactical, and predictable work. But McKinsey says that globalization and technology have changed the way that we work. 70% of our workforce needs to have a highly strategic, creative, and innovative view. They need to be solutions-oriented. Yet we use the same command and control management structures to manage them. It all boils down to communication, to plugging into their minds and figuring out what they need to be productive, to be engaged. And in order to do that, we need to peer into their minds. Now, if we don't do this in a structured manner, their minds can appear like a black hole, sucking all of our resources and our time out of us without giving much back. But if you structure just five conversations and have them on a regular basis, they will reveal their secrets to you. And it's all about five conversations. But before I get to those five conversations, let me give you the first tip. Because the most important thing is frequency. Annual or biannual performance reviews just aren't enough. You need to sit down with your staff on a monthly basis, have a structured conversation that's diarized in both your calendar as well as theirs, so that they know how important these are to you. What do you talk about? First conversation is feedback. This is a two-way conversation. It's your trigger to remind you to give praise where praise is due. But also, it allows them to give you feedback. What's working? What's not working? What do they see that can improve? The second conversation is that performance management conversation, and it's all about accountability. Most performance management pro problems begin because job objectives are not clearly defined or articulated to them. Job objectives are not a laundry list of duties and responsibilities. They are outcomes, not tasks, and they can be measured. And they're in a, just a few specific areas. So start by redefining your job objectives. Then the strengths conversation. Now that's an important conversation. Strengths are not just what your employees are good at. They're what they're passionate about. They're those natural behaviors that are hardwired into their brains between the ages of 3 and 15. Help them uncover and play to their strengths and you'll get better productivity, better customer service scores, and much lower employee turnover. The next conversation I like to call currencies of choice because their pay packet, that's a hygiene factor. You need to pay them enough. But once you pay them enough, it turns out that you don't get more bang for the proverbial buck. It's these intrinsic motivators that help unlock their potential. Now there are a number of currencies of choice that I can talk about, but I'm going to talk about three actually. Uh, and they come from Dan Pink. Autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Let them control their own destiny, let them get really good at their day job, and help them find a sense of purpose. The last conversation is career development. Why career development? Because it's the number one factor that study after study says is the one that they use to determine should I stay or should I leave? Yet most managers are afraid to talk to them about career development because they're afraid that they can't provide that vertical career path. Help them understand the horizontal career paths, the uh, additional duties and responsibilities that they can take on so that you can delay them looking externally. Now a lot of companies spend a lot of money on employee engagement. You don't have to. All you have to do is hire the right people, which is the source of another topic of conversation, and talk to them, communicate with them. If you do, you will have a truly engaged, motivated, and productive workforce. Okay, so now is the time to take out your phone because I'm going to give you some free resources that will get the ball rolling. 
So take out your phone because you're going to want to take a picture or send me an email immediately. For the first five people that send me an email for these free resources, I'm giving away a book that I co-authored with Brian Tracy as well as some other career management experts on how to manage your career effectively. So take out your phone, take a picture, or email me immediately and be one of the first five. Thank you very much. So yes, take out your phone. Be one of the first five. Absolutely.